Yo, what's going on YouTube? Technically T bringing you another video today. And yes, we have another case video for the Google Pixel 3a XL. And you already see we got one of my favorite brands in the house, and that is Rhino Shield. So before I get started, man, always, always huge shout out to the people over there. Rhino Shield for always dropping me some of my favorite cases to review. So let's go ahead and jump right into it, man. We have the solid suit. Now you know, once again, this is Top three, top two, whatever you want to call it. One of my favorite cases for any device that's out. You've seen it on this channel plenty of times. So we do have the black version and we also have the carbon fiber version. And we also have the crash guard right here. So if you want that bumper protection, you don't really need all that extra protection going around the device. Then we got that crash guard for that. And of course, we do have some of those buttons that you can actually change out if you don't want to keep those pain, you know, the black boring button so let's go ahead and jump into it let's just go ahead and start off with one of the solid suits to get this thing kicked off all right let's go ahead and get it started with the solid suit now this is probably my favorite configuration of the solid suit case i just always like this classic matte black finish when it comes to it so of course you get that very nice soft rubberized material on the back and on along the outside you get your very stiff tpu which makes it a very rigid case. And you already know on this channel, I like a rigid case because that usually equals a nice snug fit. But you also get that cutout for your camera and flash, cutout for that fingerprint scanner. And flipping it over on the side, you get the volume up, volume down, power button. And these, you can actually pop out and replace the buttons like I, like I told you in the beginning. But we'll do that once I go ahead and show you the way I plan on running this case on my Pixel 3a XL. So let's go ahead and grab it, pop it in real quick. And here it is in it very nice fit no issues whatsoever so let's go ahead and go around this case so the power button nice and tactile you can hear volume up volume down very nice tactile very nice feeling you get a generous cutout for your camera and your flash and you also get a very nice cutout for that fingerprint scanner easy to get there no issues whatsoever when you're talking about the fingerprint scanner. Taking a look at the lay on the table protection. Now, I'm not running a timber glass screen protector or anything like that. So, you see it does give you a nice little raised lip that goes all the way around. And that's something that the Rhino Shields are going to give you anyway. They're always going to make sure to give you a very nice raised lip because these are... 11 feet of drop protection rated. So you do have a little drop protection up there. So you do get a very nice lay on the table protection. Next, how does it actually fit on the phone? And this is what makes the solid suit one of my best cases, man, because the fit is absolutely perfect. We were talking about how rigid it is. I mean, no sides are bending. When this case is snapped on, it's up there, it's not coming off, it's not accidentally gonna come off. It has a very snug fit, and that's the reason why I really like this case. And going on to how does it actually feel in your hand, it actually feels pretty good. The case adds just enough bulk for me. I don't like overly bulk cases, but it adds just enough for me to actually you know, enjoy it without it being too bulky, and I think that's very good. Now, we already gotta talk about fingerprints. I know a lot of people have an issue with cases when it does fingerprints, but with this material, you really don't get a lot of fingerprints. Now, I just put lotion on my hands, so you don't really get no ashy knuckles or anything like that, and it's not really showing any grease marks or anything like that, so that's good to know. One thing I have to say, though, on the side, I always say this about Rhino Shield products. A lot of people like this case, but they say it's too slippery, and I have to agree. On their cases, they're do that you know it needs to be a little bit of material on the edge of the cases. Now, a lot of times when they send me these cases, these are the pre-production units. They may not even be the final unit. So the, when the final unit comes out, they usually have a little bit of texture on the sides to help with the grip. But if that's anything I have to say, is a little bit of grip to these cases, and you know it's perfect. There's no issue with the case at all. So this is the black version. Now, of course, we don't have to do wireless charging because. We already know 3A XL does not have wireless charging. So let's go ahead and get over here so I can show you the carbon fiber version of this case. All right, so taking a quick look, this is the carbon fiber version. Same exact case. No need to really go through all the details. But if you want to have that carbon fiber look on the solid suit, then you definitely can. The buttons are going to be your same tactile, no issues whatsoever. So if you do want a carbon fiber look and I enjoy a carbon fiber case, I really like this finish as well, then definitely go ahead and head over there and check them out. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the crash guard now a lot of people know rhino shield for the crash guard i think it's been out for a very long time i think the rhino shield is maybe a newer type ish case but the crash guard is classic 
It's been around for years. You really can't go wrong when it comes to the crash guard. Now, the one thing about the crash guard is this is for people who don't want a lot of protection, who don't want a lot of material on their device. It's just simply going to be a bumper that goes all the way around it. Very durable bumper, but you have to know that it is straight through design. So your back is going to be wide open. And of course, the front is going to be wide open, but you do get drop protection, which means there's a lip on the front and the back. So it's basically the outer rim of the solid suit let me grab it over here it's basically just the outer you know the outer rim of the solid suit just cut out in just in a bumper form if you can say so because the same volume up volume down and of course you can pop the buttons out and go ahead and use it and put a different button here especially when it comes to the power button so it doesn't seem like you can change the volume and up and down but the power button on this you can pop out and actually go ahead and change it so grabbing the 3axl we're gonna put it on just like any other case and here it is on the 3AXL. So just like I said, man, the front is gonna be wide open. You flip it over on the back, the back of course is also gonna be wide open. So let's go ahead and take a look around this case. Power button, you get that same volume up and down, same tactility, no issues whatsoever. And that's really all we got to talk about. Flipping over on the bottom, you get those same cutouts for your speaker and your type C. And along the top, 3.5 millimeter, you get the cutout for that microphone. Checking out the lay on the tail protection, just like I stated before, you get that same lay on the tail protection that the solid suit actually offers. So no issue whatsoever when it comes to dropping your device, you should be good to go. Same thing on the back, if you turn around and drop your phone on the back side, even though you don't have actual anything covering it, God forbid you drop it on a level surface, you have a little lip that also will protect your Pixel 3a XL in the case of a drop. Now, how does it actually fit on the phone? Now, the crash guards always fit pretty decent. I'm not going to say it fits as good as a solid suit because in my opinion, it doesn't. But it also, it includes a pretty snug fit. You really got to do some pulling when we're talking about separating these sides. Now, is it my type of case? I probably would like a little bit more protection like the solid suit has to offer, but the fit is good for a bumper case. A bumper case can't be super tight because it'll be a, you know, a pain taken on and off, but it does fit pretty good. And how does it feel in your hand? This basically has that same feel in the hand. Now, one thing about this, this bumper case is it has an actual textured side. So if you look at the material, you can kind of see this is a little more shiny. This is a little more matte. Now, I'm not sure if the crash guard is, is the final version or not, but this has a little bit more material on the sides, a little more texture on the sides. And that's going to help with the grip when we are talking about running this case. But overall, it definitely feels good in your hand. It does feel like you have a case up there, but of course, it's a bumper case, so it doesn't give you any bulk whatsoever. But just know, run this case, man, you are going to have the back out. You are going to have your top out. It's just something that you're going to have to get used to if you want to run the crash guard. But otherwise than that, man, very nice bumper, of course, from Rhino Shield. Now, we're going to set this down. Like I told you before, it does come with buttons, man, for the Rhino Shield cases. And all of these are basically going to be your power buttons because that's the only button that you can actually replace on it. So let's go ahead and open this up real fast. And basically what I'm going to grab is the red because I always tend to use red when it comes to these pack of buttons. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and grab the carbon fiber because I'm really liking the way this carbon fiber looks. And the way you basically change the buttons is you just push, press in and the button is going to fall right out. So we're just going to simply grab your other button and you already know the color goes to the outside. And we're going to press it in. And that's basically the way you actually change the buttons. Let's go ahead and make sure that is fully in there. And it's not going to come out. Let's go ahead and reinstall our... There it is. Let's go ahead and reinstall our solid suits. And this is the current configuration as I'm going to run it. Carbon fiber, and you get that red power button, and you get your volume up and down. So this is how I'm planning on running out right now until I get a better case. But this case right here is one of my favorites, and I feel like it will be my favorite going forward. So once again, these are the cases that are offered from Rhino Shield. You get your two solid suits, one of my favorites. And if you don't want that much protection, you want to show off the color of your Pixel 3 AXL, then you might want to go ahead and go out and pick out the Crash Guard bumper. It's going to keep your front and your back wide open, but you do get some drop protection. Now, I'm not sure what the pricing of these cases right now are going to be, but whatever the current pricing is, check the links below, and I'm pretty sure that will give you the best deal. But technically, I'm about to get up out of here. Definitely smash that like button.